these are the voyages of the starship Enterprise. Its five-year mission, to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life and new civilizations, to boldly go where no man has gone before. Ha, everybody. Bandwet is a genre defying sci fi edgy anime from the 2000s. Even though the premise of male versus female would leave most other edgy anime as a generic fan service harem, Bandwet manages to avoid those pitfalls to its huge, likable cast of unique characters. In a distant future, men and women had a war until they split up to live on separate planets. Majer, the planet of the women, and Tariq, the planet of men. The show starts with a propaganda video of the Tariq military literally demonizing women. Nowadays, the two sides know nothing about each other. The crew of the ship defend against mysterious alien species and their spaceships. But it's never really shown what these aliens are. That reminded me a lot of the first Independence Day, where you would never see the aliens 99% of the time of the movie. What makes Van Red so great in my opinion is all the different characters and their unique personalities. I just would like to highlight some of the characters. Hibiki Tokai. He is the main protagonist. He is impatient, complains a lot and overall just has a screw it all attitude which reminds me a lot of Ryudo from Grandia 2. With a ship full of women, how many women would you think have a crush on Hibiki? Maybe three? Maybe five? All of them? No, it's one and a half, because Jura actually is just thirsty in general, so that doesn't really count. This leaves the female cast to display other characteristics when being hot and bothered for the main character, and instead establishes relationship of the crew in general, which I was not expecting and was very refreshing. Dita Libli, the bumbly energetic female lead She's pretty much instantly infatuated with Hibiki from the get-go, which is notable because in their society it's not the norm. In fact, it is seen as strange behavior. Both female Maje and male Tariq use cloning to reproduce, which causes each of their children always to have the same gender as their inhabitants. She tries to win Hibiki's affection through chasing him and calling him Mr. Alien. A lot. Mr. Alien! Hey, Mr. Alien! What? Mr. Alien? Mr. Alien! Mr. Alien! Mr. Alien! Have you seen Mr. Alien around? No. Maya Gisborne. She's a stoic lone wolf which detests man and bumps head with Hibiki on several occasions when in battle. She rarely smiles and only speaks when she's spoken to unless she is reporting to a captain or issuing orders. In a flashback, we get to see that Maya had to leave both of her female parents behind. That is one of the things Van Red is way ahead of its time in showcasing same-sex relationship as something normal. Granted, it's because of the single-sex planet, but still, it's not something you often see in any media even nowadays. Parfait Balblair she is the ship's chief engineer. She keeps the engine running, but also in creates other invention here and there. She is also the first female to get along with one of the male prisoners, Duero McFire. Duero and Perfe both support each other and work together. But it is also hinted that Perfe maybe has some feelings for Duero. Aww. Pioro, 
a small navigation robot that was assigned with the task to guard Hibiki. But when the pirates of Mijer attacked, Puro got launched into a laser fence and got broken and got its quirky personality. Magno Viven is the commander of the pirate ship Nirvana, but everyone actually just calls her Captain. She is one of the first generation colonists who set out to colonizing new planets. Magno is already ancient. Because of her age, she is very wise and has knowledge that hardly anyone else has. She can also tell us a lot about the nature of men from her own experience. And she's not easy to fool. She likes to give her crew advice, give them precise instruction regarding their tasks on the ship, which why she is very valued and respected by their crew members, which she is sort of a stand-in mother figure for. Bandred is notable for the revolutionary use of CGI during space combats. You have to keep in mind this show came out one year before Shrek and was pushing what could be done with CGI in anime at the time. I personally do not care about battles in anime that much. But at least in Van Dredd, it gives the characters some nice moments to bounce off each other. On paper, Van Dredd should be nothing but another edgy harem anime. But to its diverse characters and handling sexual prodigies and themes of acceptance, it transcends its own genre. And with that concludes our little review of Van Dredd. I would give it a 10 out of 10. Van Dredd definitely holds up even 20 years later and could easily be considered a classic. I hope you enjoyed my review and bye bye.